Hey guys, long time no see. Welcome back to Dr. Kamari uh, YouTube channel. I'm not a doctor yet, but uh, whew, I'm getting there. Anyways, uh, sorry if there's background noise. I, I moved and I live next to a busy street. But anyways, <clears throat> I wanted to thank you guys for letting me reach 100 subscribers. I know that sounds like a very few amount of YouTube subscribers, but actually it's pretty cool for me because <clears throat> um, after, you know, 100, the next threshold for me is a thousand, and then after a thousand, who knows what's gonna happen? Hopefully, I hit that one million. Yes, sir. But anyways, um, we're here to talk about this program. It's called Duet. And long story short, what you need for this program is uh, I can't think right now. A cable, <laughs> lightning cable. Sorry, <clears throat> I just got too excited. I haven't made a video in so long, so I'm pretty excited. You need an iPad, and you need a laptop. So as long as you have those three things, then you can make your iPad into a second monitor. And that's what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to show you how it works and give you a student, student's perspective of is it actually worth it, uh, how well it works, is it just all for show, or you know how, how much do you actually use the item, the product, the app that you bought. And this is only useful if you actually have an iPad laying around. I don't know if you want to invest in buying an iPad and then um, using the app. Maybe you do if you use, if you have the need for a second monitor if you're on the go all the time. Or I guess you could use your second monitor at home a lot. But it's more so on the go if you're mobile, like at a coffee shop or at the library and you need a second monitor. If you're at home, obviously you can get a second monitor for really cheap and it's going to have a great display. I'm sorry for more background noise. I have a friend that just came over. And he's on the phone talking really loud, so you might hear it in the mic. But anyways, um, I'm gonna show you guys how this works. Um, I wanna mention two things. One is, um, well, at least for my laptop, I have a couple different USB ports. One of them is a USB charging point. <coughs> point. <laughs> one of them is a USB charging port, and the other one is just a normal USB that doesn't charge the iPad. Um, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here, but <clears throat> I'll zoom in in a second. But as you can see, it's plugged in right now. I'm going to zoom in, uh, in, a, in a second. <clears throat> I just said that. Don't know why I repeated myself. But anyways, um, right now I'll show you guys, but up here it says it's not charging, although it's plugged in. And then if I take it out <clears throat> and I plug it into my other USB port that does, does more of a charging, uh, so it syncs and charges at the same time. What's going to happen is it's also going to charge the iPad while it's uh, syncing. And the reason that's important is because it talks about, it's going to mention how it's going to drain, uh, how it potentially could drain your laptop. So if your iPad has already, you know, has enough charge, you don't need to charge it. I would recommend not plug it in, plugging it into the, um, wow, it got really bright all of a sudden. I rec recommend not plugging it into the charging uh, USB because it'll drain your laptop battery. If your iPad is already charged, just plug it into the normal USB that doesn't um, uh, uh, charge the iPad as well. Now go ahead, you're gonna- Okay, so what I was trying to- process, You're gonna have to move your partner into- uh, oh, <sighs> Jesus he's got Christ, he won't leave. This guy won't leave. All right, what I was trying to explain was- Yeah, um, move your partner into external rotation. Bro, there's like okay. millions of people watching this video right now. Live stream? <laughs> no, it's you not should, live stream. You should live stream on Twitch. I should live stream? I only have like 100 followers, bro. Okay, so we have our iPad connected to our laptop with the lightning cable. So now all you have to do is come here and press the duet display. And you can see that it works as a second monitor. Uh, by no means do I work or affiliated with UCSF. That's just a dream residency school. Um, but anyways, <clears throat> and I just have it there for motivation. But anyways, uh, oh, it went away. Let's do it again. Click back to it display. And it should connect. Sometimes it takes a second to connect uh, if your connection between your lightning cable is bad. But okay, so now we're back up. So that's what I was saying is... Um, for example, it has a better connection if you plug it into the charging USB, but right now I'm not in the charging USB. So let's see uh, different ways in which you can use the program. Okay, so one cool thing here I wanted to show you guys is uh, even though you have this working as a second monitor, the touchscreen still works. 
And you could also access your other apps without having to exit out of Duet. If you want to go back to, I don't know, Safari or something, um, you can go back to Safari. The internet's slow, but it's it's loading right now. But anyways, um, uh, let's go back to Duet. Or here, let's go to OneNote. So, you know, that's going to pop up. But let's go back to Duet. So where did Duet go? It's right here. Okay, so now your second screen is back up. Okay, another thing you want to do is... Uh, <clears throat> you want to position uh calibrate position where your monitor is your second monitor so this is going to be your second monitor so what you want to do is you want to go to um just type in display so this is on windows and so you can i don't know how it works on Macs, but <clears throat> so as you can see here that's um this is display your main display so like your laptop and this is your second display so that guy but for example if you had this laptop uh you know on top of your like up there, for example, what you could do is <clears throat> grab the second icon and position it on the top. Or if you had your laptop to the right of your laptop, you could position it here. But, you know, it's my laptop's here. So uh, all you have to do is, well, let's say you, you put it on the right side, for example. Then you would just hit apply. And then um, it'll be on the right side. But uh, let's put it back apply okay let's close this so now as I move my screen as I move my uh, cursor mouse cursor over you can see that it goes to the other side so like for example let's say I just wanted to use the second screen to do some Anki cards so you know just click study now and I could still um, you know st I'm still using my keyboard as the let's see do I did I know what that was I'm not sure uh, read index, uh, patient, normal, f so read index of a chronic bronchitis patient, I think is going to be over 50%. Yes, that's right. Okay. So you could use it to use Anki. <clears throat> and the reason that that's cool is because, uh, instead of having one screen, you could use the other screen to like look up stuff. So like if you're confused, um, you know, you could look it up, whatever. So let's see another application in which you could use uh, a second screen. Okay, so another thing that I like to do with having a second screen is let's say you're making some Anki flashcards and you want to use like first aid to look up all the information or, you know, the internet <coughs> browser. Uh, so I'll have the Anki cards on this side of the screen so that it doesn't kind of interfere. So I have this whole screen real estate to do all my work and then I can make the cards on, on that side, which is pretty useful. And then also, like, if I do, I don't know, let's say I wanted to do, like, an image occlusion or something, um, just hypothetically, so then I could come here and then have the image occlusion come up on this side of the screen so it doesn't interfere uh, with what I'm looking up on this side of the screen. The main application would be watching videos for for example this is pathoma or this could very much be uh class videos which i think i used mostly so i was watching a lot of class videos and i would just use my laptop to take notes however notes that you take these are just this is just an example of me taking like annotations on my screen um but i think the biggest application is watching videos while having your other screen to do whatever you want on it which is pretty useful because otherwise if you were watching videos on this screen, like it's going to take up, you'll have to split screen it and then your note taking is going to be very limited. You only have half of a screen to take notes on. Um, but if you have just have a dedicated second screen to watch all your videos, it's not going to interfere with what you got going on here with your note taking uh, abilities. So that's probably the main use of a duet um, academically at least. Okay, so here's another application. Let's say you were using your second screen just for a dedicated, uh, you know, PDF screen, uh, some material that you wanted to read. And then <clears throat> on this screen, you could take uh, your notes, obviously. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to also demonstrate that the touch screen still does work on the Duet display on the second screen. So not only is it second on monitor, um, the touch screen still works simultaneously, which is pretty cool. Okay, I think one important thing to demonstrate is how snappy it is. So, for example, I'm going to use my pinch to zoom application here. Or, sorry, not application, mouse trackpad. But um, as you can see, it's, like, rather snappy. It does everything, like, on point. And I think that's, you know, really important. There's no, like, delay in, in how it works. It works just like a second monitor. 
but as far as delay there is a small delay if you change the screen resolution i'm going to show you guys that in one second but speaking of screen resolution uh, i do want to mention that the text it's very s subtle um but it does change a little bit like the quality drops very slightly um like if you're reading it's hard to see on the <clears throat> camera but um for example this the text on my laptop i have an ips like fhd display uh is like you know a 9 out of 10 and then reading it reading the text if i use it on my second monitor here is like an 8 out of 10 because the resolution does drop a little bit from the default um apple retina display okay so this is the uh, duet display um, settings so you can change the frame rate here 30 or 60 you could change the performance high power pixel perfect uh, you could also change the resolution um, but I actually keep it on energy efficient because what happens is if you put it on I don't know let's say like high power and then mm, I don't know make the resolution all crazy uh, let's see what happens so what happens here it's gonna be it's gonna say adjusting resolution and and then your icons down here become super small. You can barely even see them. But let's try to open up something here. Uh, this guy. Wait, no. Why are you over there? Oh, all your programs jump back on the screen. So I got to bring it back to the other screen. That's what happens when you um, adjust the resolution. Let's bring it back on the screen. Open it up. And everything's like all small. And probably it's crisp, but it's like super small and hard to read. And so you gotta zoom in. But as you can see, well, I don't know if you could probably tell, but the text does get better. The resolution, the sharpness of the text, but um, it's kind of annoying. So I just have it on a pix. I just have it on a uh, go back to the display. Where'd you go? So that instead of putting on high power, I just put it on energy efficient. And I just remembered, if you want to be ultra productive, you could have Pathoma playing on this part of your screen as you're making as you're making Anki cards on there, as you're using Google on here. So that's like productivity level, like astronaut, pretty much. All right, so I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know it was kind of awkward because you couldn't see my face during half the video I had to show you guys the screens and the other screen and explain what's going on with the screens um, <clears throat> but in conclusion I would say that this application is pretty cool um, <clears throat> when I got it it was ten dollars what happened to my voice <clears throat> this is kind of cool I'm, I'm gonna keep this um, it was only ten dollars but uh, I think now it's twenty dollars so that could be you know I'm not too sure but if you consider your medical school education, you probably pay like a hundred and if you pay like almost, you pay over a hundred dollars a day for your education. So $20 is like a few hours of your tuition per day. So it's not a lot of money. If you think of it like that, then you would probably consider buying it, especially if it increases your productivity and if you're able to get a lot more done per day. Um, so I think, um, you, so the question is, uh, how often will you use it? Like, how often did I use it? When I had a lecture, which is pretty much what you're going to be having throughout all of your medical school. I know some students don't want, don't watch lectures at all. They just go off of like other students' notes, but that's pretty rare. I think most students, if they don't go to class, they do sit down and watch the lecture. And <clears throat> you know, you have that for your first two years of medical school, or if you're in another program, if you're in dental school, the same thing. Your first year, year, year and a half to two years, um, PA school, it's going to be your first year. <clears throat> and um, or if you're an undergrad, I think it's also, I think I would have benefited from having a second screen. Um, and again, it's probably only useful financially if you actually already have an iPad and if you don't have an iPad, but you do want a second screen. I think that um, maybe just get an older iPad for like super cheap, like an iPad, you know, Air 1. I think they're going for like 150 used on eBay. And if not, just get like the, and I said the Air 1 just because it's light and you don't want to like have a heavy backpack or get an iPad mini, like the first generation iPad mini for like, I don't know, super cheap used or 
you know, refurbished or whatever. But, um, but if you do have an iPad already, like I was required to get one for medical school because they require us to get one to take our examinations on them. Uh, I was like, I checked out this program. I saw it on YouTube. This guy was demonstrating how to use Duet uh, for his video photography. And I was like, yo, I could probably use that to watch video lectures uh, and use it as a second monitor when I'm at the library. Did I use Duet a lot? Definitely I did to watch almost all of my video lectures and I definitely used it a lot when I would make Anki cards because I could have the Anki browser there and then when I need, needed to browse something, I could have that browser there and then when I needed image, occlus image occlusion something, I would have that browser all on the second screen so that I didn't crowd what I was doing on my main primary laptop screen. So I think that was super useful. What else can I say about it? Um, the only quirks I would say is make sure you have a really good quality lightning cable and make sure you have a really good quality USB connection. And if you have more than one USB connections on your laptop, for some reason, one of them might work better than another USB port on your laptop. I don't know why. Um, but I think it's pretty cool the fact, just the simple fact that the iPad still has its touchscreen capabilities and you could like swipe up and you know if you needed to check like an email from your school or something you could just swipe up click your email app check the email and then swipe away and then go back to your second screen and nothing is moved around like you don't have to grab um, <clears throat> the browsers from your laptop screen to move it back to the second to your second iPad screen um, you just go back to the application and it's it's there as if you know you didn't even go away so that's pretty cool. I would say it's pretty useful. Um, I would recommend getting it. I don't work for Duet, but all I'm trying to do is make uh, your lives easier and improve, you know, your facilitation of learning uh, and and using tools. And I think this is just like a tool. And that's pretty much it. Hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, and if you have any suggestions or criticisms or um, ideas for improvements. I am open to hearing it. But anyways, I'll catch you later. I'm going to go to the library. Peace.